so we have another dungeon event coming up lapina coast i want to go over uh best ways to prepare for it what weapons you should use maybe the team you should be using and stuff like that i'll show you the team that i'm using because i'm free to play so i don't have like great great characters but i have made a team i think it'll do okay but let's go everything real quick and then uh, we'll go from there so coming soon event dungeon lapina coast coming soon uh, we went over this uh, in my last video. I'll just kind of go over briefly again real quick. October 26th to 7 p.m. to November 2nd, about 7 p.m. again. Uh, this is all PDT. So it's about a two-week dungeon. You go on, you take a dungeon. It's like a crisis event, I believe. You go in and you, you get a high score. The higher the score, it'll put you against a thousand other players. The higher your score is in that group, the higher uh, the more rewards you can get. The rewards aren't anything crazy uh, right here. If you get like, I think top 100 or top 10, uh, you get like a thing like this uh, an emblem is what it's called yep and then you get some uh like lower down you get on the board the lesser rewards are but you get like gotcha tickets and some blue crystals and stuff so it's nothing like crazy or game breaking it's just a little fun thing to do uh but it would be cool to have the the emblem to, to flex on people you know but if you're free to play or even if you're just looking for a team to build or whatever what, what what should you use to go into this event recommended element is going to be wind and lightning mostly wind so any kind of wind weapons you have and then wind material you can you can bring with you and we'll go over all this stuff here in, in a bit and i'll show you like what weapons for each character that i recommend using but you want to have wind and lightning so clouds marasame would be great to have for the lightning portion and then for the uh the wind damage and stuff like that you can have you have lucia's pulse gun Aerith's prism rod zach's falchion stuff like that uh we'll go over all that and then i think glenn has one called the shock buster as well if you don't have clouds marasame let's look at some of the weapons you can uh, bring with you here so i'm going to go to the filter here and i'm going to filter out all the electric weapons to begin with i'm only going to bring one character with electric that's going to be cloud for me because i have his marasame pretty high levels so i'm gonna bring cloud to deal most of my lightning damage and then i also have uh, uh an arrow blow on him as well for the wind damage but if you don't have clouds marasame there are some other options as far as electricity go so you have the crystal gloves for Eva that does light that does lightning damage so at max level it does 270 percent magic lightning damage to all enemies and it also boosts lightning potency by nine points and then you have Eris Wiser Staff, it does, again, AoE damage to 290% uh, to all enemies, boost lightning potency, boost magic attack. Same thing for Sephiroth and his CC Alloy Sword, maxed out 280% lightning damage to all enemies. If I'm not mistaken, the AoE weapons are you can, you can get in the game through pools and stuff, but the single target elemental weapons you have to get via the summon fights and stuff like that. So if you're looking for like a single damage AOE weapon or a single damage lightning weapon, you want to go do like the rum of summon battles and stuff like that to try to get those weapons. But just just take one of these with you. And then as far as wind goes, which is the primary element you want to have here. So for me, I have Tifa running the motor drive because it has sonic spiral at 420% to a single enemy wind damage and it also boosts wind potency. So this is my main wind damage dealer. But if you don't have the motor drive and you have like you have the Falchion, dark heavens the current event for sephiroth going on so if you've got that gold five star go and use that that's probably your best bet right now because it does 440 percent wind damage to a single enemy and again boosts physical attack boosts wind potency by nine points this is for a sephiroth that has been built for a physical attacker but this is probably the best bet for this event right now because it deals 20 percent more damage than tifa's motor drive and another and then the other really good one is lucia just 270 wind damage to all enemies for pulse gun so there's there's some different options and stuff you can go with here now let me show you the team that i'm using for this event that i plan on using i'll try it out and i'll probably you know adjust as needed but currently this is what i'm going to go with here so tifa i have here she's going to be using the motor drive and, and then the crystal gloves this is because she's going to be covering both bases lightning and wind so hopefully this this works out for me i'm not sure if it will or not i could be completely wrong on this and it's just gonna be a stupid build but who knows i'm gonna try it and we'll see what happens but she covers both wind and thunder so she has sonic spiral and thunder gun. this does aoe to all enemies sonic spiral or 20 percent wind damage to a single enemy then she also has arrow blow ruin row circle ruin or blow triangle and then for her r abilities and stuff like that i, mo I went for physical attack I boosted her physical attack as, as best I could. The only issue I have with my Tifa is that the Crystal Gloves does lightning damage, but it's magic lightning damage. It's not physical lightning damage, and her magic attack isn't that great. I could probably swap out the, the arrow blow for a, for maybe like a Thundaga blow. Yeah, so I, I can swap it out for a Thunder blow if, if need be. Uh, I'll probably try both these out and just see what happens. But that's my Tifa build. 
and i'm using her seventh heaven bartender outfit uh just because it boosts physical defense the lifeguard outfit doesn't really do too much for me i guess i could use the lifeguard outfit to boost my hp by, by like one level so I'll, I'll probably i'll actually swap that right now but we're gonna we're gonna run with the lifeguard just for that the extra little boost to hp but that puts her at 20 20 000 power my next one is cloud uh he's gonna be running a marasame with the hard edge this is for the thunder strike he's my primary lightning damage dealer he's got the armor break for the physical defense decrease and he's got thunder blow arrow blow and a ruin red blow with the triangle and then for his r abilities i went really really heavily into boost attack because i used all my boost physical attack on tifa so i, I used all my other weapons that have boost attack on, on cloud but that puts cloud at like 46 but that puts cloud at like 46 000 almost 40 net 47 000 power which is pretty good i think and and again the more stars your materia has the higher you know the better they'll be obviously and I'll, I'll show you some stuff on the material here in a second if you if you need to make some but now for Aerith we have she's going to be using her you know fairy tale for the Kiriga that's just a no-brainer she's my best healer so I have to have her for that and I, I'm using the umbrella here and I'm using this for one reason and one reason only and that's to decrease physical defense and decrease magic defense on the enemies and this will help me deal more damage and stuff like that but if you don't have the umbrella the other option you have here is a mithril rod uh this that has saving grace it also decreases physical defense and magic defense but it only does it for 12 seconds the umbrella does it for i think 22 seconds i believe yeah 22 seconds so if you have the umbrella that's what i'm going to be using just to kind of keep the enemies debuffed and stuff and then of course with Aerith, i ran her r ability boost heal so she can just dish out as much healing and then hp keep my party going strong and healthy now real quick for the materia i don't see a lot of people talking on like how what to look for and stuff when you're when you're making materia so for this event we want wind and lightning so if i need like a wind materia magic materia all magic materia is green all physical materia is yellow if i need a magic materia you can level up as much as you want but do not let this bar be anywhere near half full or any full if it's not all the way full just just minus out so you can save your material just do that this will guarantee a two star with a subset of two um available stats you want to see at least and if you look over here it says time it'll take 306 minutes at the max i think or about that time so the closer you are to that time frame when you go to synthesize it like this It's, it's gonna take four hours and four minutes so with this material in particular where it says 303 minutes about uh, it'll take about five hours as the max the closer you are to that five hour mark the higher the chance it is for it to be a better materia so this will probably be a two star materia if it was closer to the five hour it'd be a three or a four star i'm pretty sure that's how that works that's what i've noticed anyway yeah see so it's two star if it was like if it was like maybe four hours and, and 45 minutes or five hours it probably would have been a guaranteed blue star or three star i'll show you another one real quick i'll show you one of these so this is about 50 minutes right again add your material whoops so here that's we want that down to at least you know a bar we don't want to waste that other five material there's no reason to do it unless it's going full there's no reason to waste your material or material on it post you are to the 50 minute mark the better the material is going to be we'll pop this in real quick this is 47 oh this is 48 minutes this one actually might be pretty decent i'm gonna just power through this one choco booster i got a lot of them let's see here what this one is it's a blue there we go it's a blue it's a it's a three star now with the materia here where it's a magic ruin you want your substats to try to be magic based so i've got physical defense which is okay physical attack is not great because i don't this is going to go on a magic user so the physical attack won't really help this would be better off being a magical attack percentage up and then anything else really you want you want physical defense magic defense physical or magical attack depending on what material you're using and then boost hp or whatever else and then you want to try to go for the percentages because the percentages will grow with your character the boost just the points they just kind of stay stagnant i hope that kind of makes sense but that's everything you need to know for the event coming up if you guys have any questions be sure to let me know down below in the comments i'm going to be covering this i might be streaming this event and everything as well so let me know if you guys need help or have any questions i will gladly answer them for you and if you're new here be sure to like subscribe for more final fantasy 7 ever crisis content because i cover guides and how to's and i try to keep everything very very simple and easy to understand for the casual player because i know some of this stuff especially gacha games can be very confusing and overwhelming so i try to keep everything pretty self-explanatory but be sure to check out this video up here for more ever crisis content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace